44 people appeared in a Hong Kong court on Wednesday, charged with rioting for their role in this protest that turned violent when thousands of activists clashed with police near Beijing's main representative office on Sunday. It's the first time that authorities in the financial hub have resorted to using the rioting charge. It's a term that has infuriated activists, partly because of the heavier sentence it carries. Under Hong Kong law, rioting is defined as an unlawful assembly of three or more people, where any person commits a breach of the peace. Riot charge is a collective crime. So even the person who are charging didn't do any inciting uh, violence or didn't do any behavior violent. They are still held accountable to others' behavior. And I think this is uh, this is wrong. This is this tells you this system is rigged, and uh, there is some problem in the systems. The former British colony has plunged into its biggest political crisis since its return to Chinese rule in 1997. Protests began in late April against a controversial extradition bill. But in recent weeks, they've turned more and more violent. Even with a major typhoon heading for the city, many protesters stayed put outside the courthouse on Wednesday, chanting revolution of our time and liberate Hong Kong in a show of solidarity. All of the defendants were released on bail and were ordered to remain in Hong Kong with an overnight curfew. The released activists, including several students, clerks and even a Cathay Pacific pilot, are due back in court in September.